the golden toe it's like one of the species that it's like emblematic for the area because it was endemic species um, here only found in a small region of the Monteverde Reserve. It was such an emblem of Monteverde in the 1980s of this is Monteverde, like the golden toad. <laughs> this is what it's about. And then it was gone. This is very um, special. The last time our call was here a few years after. I think some people do have hope. It may still be there. Who are sure that if they go at the right time in the right spot, that there's a chance. Is a place where, um, where pretty much no one, hardly anyone goes there. Somebody would have had to go to that remote spot during breeding season to see it. So what we really need to do is get on this Regente Trail. Yeah, we should go there with people that were there then and walked around and saw them. Yeah, so it should be an adventure. This is the kind of spot I would expect to find a golden toad. That's what our guides last time were telling us is like, nobody's up here looking for it. Pretty quiet night. All right, Karen, what are we looking at here? So today what we see is the emblem of Monteverde, which could be the Quetzal, it could be the Bellbird. Some people come to Monteverde to look for the Bernard's Umbrella Bird. Some people wish they could see a taper. All of those species are at the edge. The story of the Golden Toad is objectively fascinating. And it's also, to me, kind of a warning sign. Like this was the emblem of Monteverde and now it's not here. Um, and so I think that's the lesson we can take. What it does is it makes you appreciate life a little bit more when you lose something that you realize after the fact that you love and you